no one, Zana back with a new video. First of all, I want to apologize that there were no videos last week. Unfortunately, my health took a nosedive and I was admitted to the hospital for all of last week. I really need to get ahead in videos, so if that happens again, I already have a scheduled upload buffer. I'll do my best to make that happen so we don't miss any more uploads. It seemed pretty apropos to talk today about how creativity is a muscle that we need to constantly work out. While I was in the hospital, I was hopped up on all kinds of medicine and could not even find the mental space to sketch. So when I got home and I sat down to my tools, I felt really out of practice. I was surprised because it had only been a week, but I really struggled to get back into the groove with this piece. You can really see it in Naja's face. I ended up having to message Kayla and get some help on what I was doing wrong because my eyes just couldn't see it. The same goes for coming up with creative ideas. Sometimes if I haven't created something new or different in a long time and I just stick with my old OCs and old stories, then coming up with something new is daunting and seems nearly impossible. I find that when I'm constantly thinking of what ifs and new characters or stories, then it becomes a lot easier. It's important to train this muscle in a disciplined manner. We can kind of refer back to Pavlov's dog study for this. The gist of it is that he trained these dogs that they would receive food when he rang a bell and they would drool for the food, obviously. In the end, he would only have to ring the bell and the dogs would drool. We can do this to our creative brain too. Train yourself to respond to some stimuli. It could be a certain workspace, putting on your headphones, pulling out your pencils, something you consistently do when you sit down to be creative. This can help override the feeling that you're waiting for inspiration to be creative. If you sit around waiting for inspiration to strike, you're gonna be doing a lot more sitting than you will be creating. I've only just kind of hopped over this hurdle into daily practice to the point where most days where I can't create just feel odd. Of course, beyond the fact that I had nurses poking and prodding me around the clock last week, uh, that's another story. That's the goal, I think, to be so consumed in art that it feels wrong not to do it. I will say that the coins in this piece were just murder on my hands. I couldn't even find a copy paste shortcut for them because so many were like on the edges of the characters or on the little papers, the reward papers on the bottom there. And you saw for my text there, I do feel like I feel like this pretty often, i.e. like with the ruffles and the couch and that Rococo monster piece I did a little bit back. <sighs> that was intense. <laughs> I'm also finally switched from using iMovie back over to Premiere and I am so stoked about it as I'm most happy in my Adobe programs. <laughs> Did you notice the snow on the intro? I've put it on the outro too and I'm really happy with it. Anywho, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to see the colored version of this piece coming up in a couple days. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe um, for videos in the future. I'll see you all on Thursday. Bye!